Will we get a hurricane this week, at least all the way through June 27th? Let's talk tropics. Short answer is yes. We already have tropical depression, Celia. This is in the eastern Pacific. Notice towards the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean, things are pretty quiet other than a few thunderstorms off the coast of Florida, but these are likely not to strengthen into anything. Right now, we only have one named system, tropical depression, still not a tropical storm. It may do so in the next couple of days as it moves westbound here in the eastern Pacific, but eventually we're probably going to strengthen this thing to at least tropical storm maybe by Wednesday, and then maybe by Thursday, category one hurricane as it continues to move towards the northwest. Right now, it's pretty much due west at 13 miles per hour. Once it gets a little bit farther out to sea, it may start to meander a little bit more northwest. The question is, after it gets a little bit farther northwest, where does it kind of go? There's not a lot of huge systems coming in from the Pacific to really steer this thing, so this thing may just continue to head out away from land. That's fine. Of course, it affects shipping routes, but uh, Category 1 hurricane likely later this week, but not impacting land, at least for this week. But what about things that could try to impact the land? What about you trying to take a beach vacation this week? What are your tropical storm or hurricane chances? Well, first off, let's talk about historical data, climate data. Where do hurricanes usually form this time of year and where do they usually go? And this changes throughout the whole hurricane season. This data comes in from the National Hurricane Center, tabbing all data anywhere from 1851 to 2015. All the red dots show you places where we had a tropical storm or hurricane start, it formed, and then the black line shows you where it went. Notice this time of year, we tend to get a lot south of Mexico, but then look at most of their trajectories. They are just out to sea. Every once in a while, we've gotten a couple to try to wrap towards the coast, but not very likely. Most times, things head out towards the west. That's probably going to be the same with Celia. You want to check in for more updates the next couple of days to kind of get the latest information on that. But what about the eastern side of Central America? What about all the hurricanes or tropical storms that form closer to the U.S. or Cuba or Mexico? Well, a lot of times they got to form somewhere in the Gulf because that's where we have our warmest water, especially in the western side of the Gulf. We're getting water temperatures that a couple degrees above uh, normal for even this time of year, but they're in the mid-80s. We'll take a look at water temperatures in a second. You look a little bit farther east, we are just usually not warm enough yet. We're just now crossing towards 80 degrees, and that's what you need for those water temperatures. Notice how we don't have many storms forming out east, so things are probably going to be fairly quiet when you're just looking at a climate sense. We tend to have to watch things spin up really quickly, but notice if they spin up really closely to land, they don't have much farther to go towards the land. So a lot of times these things get over land, they rain out, they weaken, and they're pretty much done. You're not usually getting these massive storms that just spin up and spin up and then eventually blast the coast, but some of these storms can drop a lot of heavy rain and produce flooding. Let's talk about warm waters. We definitely have them. Notice where we had all those points and notice where the warmest water is. I mean, we're talking about water temperatures that are well into the 80s, close to the U.S. Uh, coastline, and then uh, along the Mexico coastline there in the Western Gulf, we've got some really warm water, really warm water all the way around Florida and into the Bahamas. But back towards the south and east in the Caribbean, yes, we are at 80 degrees, which is the bare minimum, in order to help sustain or even produce a hurricane or tropical storm, but we're just a little bit cooler back towards the south and east. Eventually this will change, and once we get all the water heated up back towards the south, uh, we'll be able to probably spin up more, more systems coming up. Let's also talk about dust, uh, because dust is a big inhibitor on where cyclones form. So for the next couple of days, we've got dust. Where we have the warmest water, notice we still have some dust over the Gulf of Mexico. Maybe later this week, that'll start to ramp down. Where we have some of that cooler water, we don't have a ton of dust this week. Eventually, there could be more plumes coming in. Of course, all this dust comes from the Sahara. We had a batch come into Europe the past couple of days. That's going to eventually start to work its way out. But I think a lot of the winds may slow down a bit and keep most of the dust over Africa. And some of these waves that are already coming in will eventually disperse over time. But for the next couple of days, we've got a little bit of dust where the warmer water is that helps protect us from these tropical cyclones. We'll have to watch in the Caribbean if there is a chance for some of these openings before the next round of dust comes in, especially towards uh, Nicaragua, uh, east of Costa Rica, north of Panama. We'll see if we can try to get anything, but chances would be low at this time. Overall, where we would even have a chance is where eventually we're getting some dust. You'll see it loop here in just a second as we push towards the, the weekend and then as we start this coming week. But warmer water towards the U.S., but that's where we're going to have that dust for a while as uh, we wait for more dust to eventually come in. So a lot of different things have to come into play. Overall, here's our forecast. Very, very low chances pretty much anywhere in the, the Gulf. We're probably not going to see anything really spin up too much. 
on the east side of Central America that would make an impact towards the United States. Maybe a tiny chance east of Central America here in this region where we've got the orange. Very, very low chances. Otherwise, the National Hurricane is not, Center is not predicting anything, at least for the next five days. Here's a look at future casts as we try to look at where we have complex of thunderstorms and where they may go. So starting tonight, we're pretty quiet, of course, other than Celia. This is all the rain with Celia. This will eventually start to wrap up a little bit more. See that how it starts to wrap up with some of the brighter colors showing you some of the heavier rain. Of course, we're going to keep our eyes still in the Caribbean and the Gulf, but most of the action is going to be towards the Pacific, or as we look towards the uh, Gulf and the Caribbean, not a lot going on. However, remember we were talking about the chance for when that dust breaks. We got some warmer water trying to come in towards the Caribbean. We'll have to see if we can try to spin up a couple of thunderstorms. We'll at least get some storm activity. Now, does it wrap up into anything? We'll have to see. But most of these hug so close to the coast. So even if they start to try to ramp up, usually they get broken, blasted apart by, by some of the mountains. Overall, here's our forecast. We've got tropical depression, Celia, that's likely to strengthen into a hurricane sometime this week, but really not making impacts towards land, mainly shipping routes, as folks have got supply chain issues trying to come from west to east. But we'll eventually see that wrap up. In the Gulf, in the Caribbean, in the Atlantic, things are likely to be quiet this week all the way through June 27th.